Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, but I play other games as well, and welcome to Kelvin and the Infamous Machine. It's a, uh, not one of my current series, obviously, but I thought I'd take a look at this because it came out a couple of weeks ago, and the devs just sort of sent me a Steam key out of the blue, which I still find absolutely amazing that anyone would do, because, I mean, it's not like I have that many uh, subscribers on YouTube or that many followers on Twitter, but hey, I'll... I know how hard it is to get a game sold, uh, especially an adventure game in the niche market and all that. I have, you know, friends in the adventure game dev community. So, um, to, you know, receive a free game that just came out, I mean, I would do these people a great disservice if I didn't at least, uh, you know, give it a little checkup and see what it actually is. I have no idea what I'm getting into. The email just said, it's Kelvin and the Infamous Machine. Do you like time traveling? And I thought, well, yeah, I do. One of my favorite games is Day of the Tentacle. I like time travel stories. So uh, let's get in and, uh, and play this thing. Chapter 1, 5th. Uh, well, okay. We'll the see. brilliant yet chronically overlooked Dr. Edwin Lupin. Oh, that dude over on the right is really getting into time her shoulders, I think. Dedicated assistant Lees. Hello, Lees. Kelvin, Lupin constructs the world's first functioning time machine. Well, hooray! And Lees is getting really drunk. Looks exactly like a portable shower. When the Interesting. science journal publishes its list of the year's greatest inventions, the time machine is curiously absent. Oh, yo. Bastard Winter ethics and games journalism. Ethics and time award. machine journalism, Ridiculed I guess. For its appearance, the judges have dubbed it the infamous machine. It's a time Dr. machine. Dr. Come on. What the hell was that lifeguard that ring? Come on it. Dignity. It's a time Oh, he's losing it, isn't he? For about two seconds. <laughs> to madness, he launches himself into the past, bent on stealing credit for humanity's greatest works. Well, that's exactly what I would do. Next to killing Hitler and uh Convincing people not to or will he make totally Blade Runner 2, I guess. Doom the universe to oblivion? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm looking forward to Blade Runner 2. I just can come up with a movie that I didn't want remade. Um, oh, Total Recall. That was a bastard. Anyway, uh, Kelvin follows Do Dr. Lupin to his first destination, 19th century. Something, something. I should probably be paying attention. Vienna, 1804. Boy, this is really nice, isn't it? I mean, I like the graphics and... Dude, don't take a sh Do you have to take a shower? <laughs> Is that really how this time machine works? You have to get in and sud well, up? Well, great. We're 10 seconds in, and the game already has an 18-plus rating. Fourth wall breaking! Kelvin? Kelvin, can you can you hear me? Uh, ah. No, you're echoing. Please? Kelvin, you're alive. Are you all right? Well, no, I just well, showed my the butt to the audience. water pressure was a little low for my taste, but... Kelvin, focus... Where are you? What do you see? Uh, Blue. looks like Blue downtown everywhere. somewhere. Oh, this is one of those time uh, France, machines that maybe? actually okay, transports good. you in place as well as time. in Austria. Austria? Oh, cool. Oi, good day, mate. Austria, That's Kelvin, not, not Australia. And it's 1804. So, uh, why did Lupin come here? Likely he was after Beethoven. The dog! The composer, Kelvin. According oh, good, we're history, playing a complete Lupin imbecile. Von Beethoven penned just four symphonies before retiring in 1804. It's statistically improbable Is this that a man of his genius would end his career so Did you rope me into playing an You're entertainment game? You're saying Lupin messed with Beethoven so he could write the rest of the symphonies himself? Exactly. Yeah, that's not you gonna go You need to find well. Beethoven and get him to write his fifth symphony. Got it. That'll be easy. So, bum, 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 uh, um, what does the symphony sound like? You, d you don't know the... It's been erased from history. What? Uh, Kelvin, the connection's breaking up. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Okay, press H for help. Let's just see here. Um, okay. Is this a like a single click adventure game? So if I mark this and I go right click, does nothing. So okay, I left click. It looks really hot. I don't want to burn my hand. Oh, he's not that stupid. Okay. Just your everyday reinforced steel cone. Did they have steel cones in Austria in the 1800s? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Who needs video games? Yeah, good point. I'll just quit. Thank you for watching. Oh, no. Never mind. Uh, okay. Let's have a look around. See, I can I can look at the light bulb, but this huge fucking uh, sign here and the po oh, the posters are not Tomorrow there. night only. Maestro Matthew S. Francis performs his celebrated yawning concerto. Huh. Wonder why Lupin skipped this guy. 
Yeah, who knows? Anyway, there's a character to talk to. Hello, Mr. Bouncer. Slow night, huh? Right now, all the rich snobs are next door listening to their rich snob music. That's who drinks here? Rich snobs? Everybody in there is either a rich snob or knows a rich snob. Them's the rules. I like his voice. I wish I could go that low. Do you know if Beethoven is in there? Who? Ludwig van Beethoven, the legendary composer. Also, What's you're speaking English like? in 18... Crazy hairdo? Uh, well, death 17th player? century Kinda Austria. Hard of hearing? Oh, the deaf guy. Yeah, he's in there. Looked real annoyed about something when he came in. <laughs> Can I go inside? Hmm, no. Why not? This joint has a strict dress code. It does? But you're wearing a ratty old tank top. Do I look like I'm inside? Touche, bouncer. Any crazy-eyed scientists come through here lately? You kidding? This is Vienna. Half the people here are crazy-eyed weirdos. How about like a really small crazy-eyed weirdo? Sorry, kid. Pretty much everybody looks small to me. Now move along. Okay, so... Well, how do I exit this conversation? I'll be back. Oh, I'll be here. Just click outside. That's actually, that, that's kind of an interesting mechanic. Usually you have to pick a, you know, an option that says, I do not want to talk to you any longer. But, okay, so we probably have to get inside there. And he won't let us in because we don't look fancy enough. Maybe yeah, there's some uh, clothes in here. I'm no buggy expert, but whoever but you owns knew this it was one a buggy. can definitely afford to pay for parking. We'll have a look inside. Yeah, uh, but... Oh, stop it. Alrighty. Let's look in the trash can. Maybe there's a fancy robe in there or something. Or a hacky sack. I'll take a hacky sack. See, kids? Rooting through municipal garbage is safe and fun. Nice. Okay. Oh, I can double-click on rooms. Thank you for telling me that. Well, hello. You look familiar. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm just having a one-see look-see at this. Wow, gonna... they really captured his creepy, over-caffeinated <laughs> essence. I have some respect. Lupin you. is the greatest genius in history. Thank you, Whatever. Mr. Longface. I once saw him try to eat a burrito like it was corn on the cob. Okay. Anyway, I'm not. I'm just having a quick look see one see on this. I don't know why I call it that, but, it, but I'm not turning it into a series because uh, you know I have enough games that I'm neglecting at this point. In fact, old Anna's quest is probably feeling very left out at this moment. But uh, um, so I'm just having a first look at this, and uh, who knows? I might pick it up as a series later on. But for now, I'm just uh, you know having a quick tickle around. Um, I like the. Um, I like the graphics, and I like the um, uh, uh, the voice acting is actually pretty good. I like the, the voice of the um, uh, protagonist here. Um, let's see how his uh, you know personality gets you know gets on because he does seem like a bit of a bumbling jerk at this point. Those candles are really stuck in there. But he's got kind of a, he's got kind of this endearing uh, you know little twerpy voice. <laughs> yep, it's uh, an emergency bottle of water. Well, I did pick up a hammer, so. Oh, uh, don't linger. Oh, there we go. Wow. Good thing this is not an emergency. Well, it's an emergency bottle of water behind the strongest glass in the world. Actually, it sounds a bit like Robert Menace of the Nostalgia Road Trip podcast, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, let's break the gumball machine. It's a shamelessly anachronistic gumball machine. Ah, very astute observation. See, he's, he's kind of all, all over the place with, with regards uh, to his intelligence. No, I'm pretty sure I'd get thrown in a dungeon or something. All right. Um, let's see if there's anything interesting. Ticketed in the patrons oh. only. Thank you. Oh, well, bugger you then. All right, so we find a ticket, get in the cloakroom, start to look all nice and fancy, and then we get into the bar. Fine. I see where this is going. Let's go in the alley and Lord of the Ring toss. You guys. All right. <laughs> I think I hear something moving around in there. Right, let's break it. Everything can be solved by hammering. A perfectly good vase? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I directed you to do. Now fucking do it. So there's a little arcade sequence, or a little mini game, and the suits. Oh, we got a whack a mole! Do we actually hit these poor little moles no, over the Um, I think he's had enough. Okay, thank God. Oh, there's a $1 sign. That's neat. So if anyone, what the hell? There's a there's a ton of objects here. Huh? Looks like I just missed the rainstorm. 
I'm probably supposed to fill that, uh, fill Test something up with water. Might. All right, I will. I will. Yes. 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 All right. Let's hammer this thing. He really like settles in You're there. You're as weak as an inept research assistant. Well, Guilty as charged. <laughs> He's just chipper and optimistic. I quite like that. All right, soothsayer, soothe Whoa. me some saying. Are you a fortune teller? Or save me some You got it. Fortunes, divinations, and prophetic prognostications. That's Only thing I don't do is palm reading. For. Again, oh. Austria, Very 1800s. Could you tell my fortune? Huh? Oh, yeah. wish I could. But a dark and terrible evil has rendered me powerless. Why didn't you just go home and sleep a it off, then? A ghost is draining you of your spiritual aura? Nah, some jerk tourists ran off with my crystal ball. Oh, Didn't that. see that coming, did you? What can I say? <laughs> Divination is a mysterious and fecal craft. That's one of my favorite jokes too. Hey, if you're a, uh, if you're clairvoyant, why do you need a fucking phone number? Uh, well, uh, I don't see know. you later. I don't I want know. to talk to you right now. Uh, let's go do the ring toss. Uh, you there, little boy? Are you talking to me? Who else, Sonny? Dude, I'm 26. Dude. Don't you have quite the imagination? Well, Are you serious? You. I'm. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this the ring toss? Indeed it well, is. Well, actually, oh, these are just boy. cups, Can and I this is just Mr. a Please? random ring I'm holding. When, oh, when I say ring toss, course, I sonny. mean. If you've got a few coins to spare, it's dirty old joke. Oh, here. man, it's always something. Could I play just once without paying? Where I'm from, they let you play a little for free, and then suddenly you can't stop. I'm afraid not, lad. Portly carnival workers need to eat, too. You understand? Oh, perfectly. Um... What's with the what creepy vase over the there? Base? Oh, that? It belongs to the snake charmer. Is There's he on break? Snake in I'm afraid he's in the hospital. He had a touch too much of the drink and tried charming the flute by playing the cobra. Whoops. <laughs> hey, I did see Bye, a flute in the, um... Come back any time. Yeah. Okay, first of all, let's try and hoodlum this guy because maybe he's like completely retarded or something. This is for setting prices, not paying for stuff. All right, all right. Well, I can't just put it on his booth, can I? I don't think he'd like me changing the price of his game. Oh, yeah. Just checking. Well, that was interesting. I just solved the puzzle. You expect me to pay just to park here? Think of it as a yes, status symbol. Parking here says, I have so much money I wasted on parking for no reason. Also, you're parked right that in the middle of the fucking street. Brilliant! Ah, oh, thank you for the donation. Hey, Franz! I see you've parked for free! Like a peasant! That voice actor really gets into it. Well, off you go. Okay, so now I have money to play Ring Toss. Let's go and play Ring Toss. So I guess we are kind of starting off light here with, um, you know, I only have uh, three or four screens to visit, and this is kind of tutorialistic. Almost like ritualistic, but One Ring tutorial, Toss, so. please! Here's your money! Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Step right up! Hook a target and win! Uh, so do I do this arcade style or does he just do it on his own? He seems to be just doing it on his own. Oh, so uh, close! The ring is too what small. The? There's no way the ring could get around one of those. Care for another go? Yeah, you give me one and I'll just walk off with your ring and, uh... One ring toss, please! Thank you, lad. Here's your ring. Thank you. Off I go. Maybe big old strong man can widen it a bit. What do you want me to do with that? Just pull it. Just pull. Oh, you bastard. Maybe I can put it around the steel cone. There we go. Behold! I have created art! Simmer down, buddy. Okay, now I probably just hit it with the hammer and then stuff will happen. There you go. Why does he? He's like, he like sits there and just look at, looks at it. And just goes. My I desire to create you. art has been trumped by my desire to pick up this comically oversized ring. Here we go. Off you go.
By the way, that lumpy fella just let me walk off with it. That's not that's not good business. How dude. the devil did you 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 cheated no, me? No, you cheated me. You've you lumpy been out cheated you cheaty cheater. Now where's my prize? Let's see if we can Fine. get any more cheaty cheaty yeah. in there. Is it a ticket? Is it a? It's something useless, isn't it? It's a symphony ticket. Holy it's a ticket shit. to tonight's symphony performance. Interesting. Well, let's go to the symphony. And then we go to the cloakroom, we find some nice clothes, and then, uh, you know, we'll go and meet Beethoven. Read it and weep, Cucumber Face. Ah, that's a good one. One symphony ticket. What the? One symphony Where did to you your do? It doesn't matter, and you know it. Now let me through. Oh, Bitch. very well. Try not to ruin the entire performance with your blabbering. No promises. I didn't even speak to you. All right, inside the cloakroom, please. Those are some seriously styling duds. Please present your claim ticket. Oh, If bugger. you wish to retrieve your garment. So I have to go and rob someone, right? Um, Lord Sturmundrang. <laughs> well, first of all, let's just see if we can scoop up some spits. Just so we're clear, if I need to reach in there to solve a puzzle, I'm giving up. Okay, well, again, some fourth wall breaking. It's a bunch of random papers. I'm not sure if any of them are useful. There's a big contention going on uh, with adventure game fans. Breaking the fourth wall, good or not. Hell, Lord Sturmendrang is really getting into this. Metal. Huh. I never really pictured this as headbanging music. You kidding? This dude is shredding right now! Play the Blood Devils of Torment! Play some Slayer! <laughs> Hey, do you think you could help me convince the bouncer to let me into the bar next That's door? That's not how you solve the puzzle. No way! That guy is terrifying! I bet you could take him. You're pretty intimidating yourself. Hardly! No, he isn't. I'm scared of almost everything. Bouncers, spiders, you name it! Uh, Keep it brutal! Until the bone worm takes us! Can I just reach into this guy's pocket? Excuse me, oh. have any of you seen... Shh. Guess not. No one would keep a claim ticket back here, would they? I can barely see anything. Of course, I have a... Oh! Let oh, there no. be light! Eh, worth a shot. I anyways, uh, have a light shining right in my face, so... But anyway, I suppose I am supposed to turn this on somehow. Not with any of this. Oh, there's a purse! Is this made of green leather? Weird. Anyway, it looks like there's a piece of paper sitting at the top. Well, fucking steal it already! Somebody will definitely notice if I try to grab anything out of there. He's afraid of spiders, right? So... I have retrieved a light bulb. Well, a light ball. So, I suppose suspect I can probably get some light out of this now. I, I don't know. That's that's all I got. I don't think that will work. Bugger! Oh, wait! Well, there's your, uh, your, uh, thingy me biggy jiggy. Uh, will this work for a crystal ball replacement? Certainly hey, it will. thanks! This should work great! Let me repay the favor with a complimentary fortune. Thank you. Complimentary I was as in free, you might, uh... right? That's the one. Awesome! All right, spill some secrets on me. Why is she rubbing her belly? Hmm, the shapes are indistinct. Your fate seems yet undecided. That's an absolutely Wait, never mind. shitty fortune. Somebody's definitely going to shoot you. Oh, excellent. What? Are you serious? Yep, it's right there in the ball. Oh, Whatever the happened to fucking liar. divination is a mysterious and fickle craft. This time it was mysteriously clear. Oh man. Well, thanks. Probably that I guess. Nose cucumber face. Tell guy. your friends. Excellent. I think I. Well, what did that accomplish? What did I get out of that? At all? Are you sure as it now be? Ooh, wait a minute. There's a candle in there. Well, maybe I can light the candle with another candle. And then go and 
He's actually just gonna yeah. stick that in his backpack. That's probably safe. Yeah, I'm sure. And now we shall have light. All right, so this is the uh, probably the last puzzle I'm gonna solve. I just wanna get in the bar and uh, see what Beethoven looks like. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's uh, just do that. And then, uh, you know, I think we'll have a good idea of what kind of game this is. Spider? Spider? Any spider? Mask. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that up there. I like the voice actor's really getting into this clown suit. Uh-uh. No way am I picking that up. Well, we need something scary. Come on. A mop? Is this mop made of human hair? Oh, well, sure is. Oh, yuck. Okay. It's locked. Oh, good. Broken ladder. Why would somebody make a ladder this short? Wait a minute. Gnomes must be real. He just... He just... You know, trust the fine line between, uh, you know, idiot savant and just idiot. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's still the clown suit. Rope! Ah! Cloth snake! Okay, yep, that is rope. I don't think that will work. Of course it will! It's a fucking flute, come on! Should I hammer it into shit? I'm not sure how shit? those go together. Okay, maybe not. Huh. These mop hairs kind of look like a bushy mustache. Oh, so I have to get a disguise to get the claim ticket to work because he's going to recognize that I'm not actually... You know what? I am just going to leave the episode here then. Because uh, I sense a big old puzzle chain going on here. But I think we get a pretty good sense of what kind of game this is. It's a humorous time travel game um, with a... An oddly endearing, if not a bit um, dim-witted character, uh, main character. I like his voice, though, uh, so uh, I think that really helps sell the character. Um, the puzzles are, you know, pretty adventure game -y, uh but I like that. I mean, it's supposed to be a comedy game, so we're not talking, like, uh, deep philosophical stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, the art is good, the music is pretty good. Um, yeah. And I'm not, I'm not saying that just because they gave me this game for free. I, I'm definitely going to play the rest of this. Because uh, I, would, I would be honest. I would tell you if this sucked. And you would be able to, you know, see on my face if I thought it sucked. I don't think this sucks. I'm actually intrigued to see where this is going. Uh, but... Like I said, I'm not going to pick this up as a series right now because I've already got too many games going. Uh, so uh, I will be back with more Anna's Quest in the, the next episode. Uh... Well, that's going to sound weird if you're not watching my videos sequentially, but anyway. Um, so anyway, um, thank you for uh, watching this. Um, please like, subscribe, do whatever your kids do. Do leave me a comment, and uh, do go check out uh, Kelvin and the Infamous Machine for yourself. It was just released a couple of weeks ago, and I'm sure they'd appreciate the dough. Uh, so um, thank you, and uh, I'll see you around the Chrono Stream.